you for that. Emotions remain high tonight for a community vowing to figure out exactly why Jordan Edwards was killed. The 15 year old shot by a Balk Springs police officer. Religious and community leaders, including the national leader of the NAACP, gathering in Dallas for a prayer service. Our Kim Molestina live tonight. You were there. What was said? Yeah, and you know, Kaylee, this church was certainly energized tonight by the presence of this community who came out here tonight to pray and to organize their efforts in response to the investigation that is now taking place into that shooting. We call upon you to instill in us the desire for justice. Community members packed the Joy Tabernacle and Agape Temple AME Church for an interfaith service. They prayed and rallied around a message of healing and pursuit of justice. And stand against this evil in our midst. The head of the national NAACP, Cornell William Brooks, gave an impassionate speech that drew plenty of cheers and applause. We've cried over the loss of too many children. We are going to put this to an end. Former Balk Springs police officer Roy Oliver has already been fired for violation of department protocols related to the shooting death of 15 year old Jordan Edwards. And while Take this community out. presses on for answers, a second officer is also being investigated. Obviously, they're going to look at all the officers that were present at the time. Dallas attorney Pete Schulte says the criminal investigation now in the hands of the Dallas DA's office for the officer who shot and killed the teen, Roy Oliver, will be thorough and independent of what the internal review found. And they're going to look at what was known to the officer at the time force was used. Meanwhile, here at the prayer service, leaders vowed to act if those involved are not charged and arrested. Be prepared for unrest in the most constructive sense of the word, but also in the most disruptive sense of the word. And as you just heard, what happened here tonight, this meeting was very much a call to action. Uh, community leaders say they will wait to see what the result of that investigation on behalf of the DA's office is. But they also say if they do not like that result, that could lead to a higher level of protest. We're live in Dallas tonight. Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News.